this is not the kind of location anyone would choose to abduct someone. No, certainly if you were looking for a place, um, you know, at first sight, there's nobody around at the moment. It, it potentially could have potential, but it doesn't take long. There's people over there working mm -hmm. on a, um, in a building site. There, as we've been here, there's been joggers, there's been people riding bikes and walking dogs. Um, mm -hmm. There are a huge number of people that use this path. There's actually not a lot of space either. Yeah. You're, you know, if you're going to grapple with somebody, for instance, mm -hmm. the danger is that you're going to fall in the river. So it is really not the best place to abduct somebody. Four weeks on, police are staging a reconstruction. What can they realistically expect to, to find? Well, what you've got to remember is that that last sighting of Alice was actually just a last sighting. That wasn't where she disappeared from the face of the earth. She carried on after that. So sightings of her before then might have been quite normal. She might have been behaving quite normally, buying something in a shop, chat, you know, passing the time with somebody along the street or just walking along minding her own business. So it's those sightings that really helped to build that timeline, to build that picture of what she was doing beforehand and what led up to her disappearance. And that last sighting, just remember, was just the beginning of another journey for her, a big journey that we don't know about. So that's most important. Anything that happened to her after that 426 sighting, where she went, who she spoke to, um, if she went into any shops, cafes, we think there was an hour that she was probably going to have to hang around before she could get back into her own home. So what happened to her in that hour is obviously most crucial for the police and that's where the public can really help. Such huge scale resources have gone into this. Um, 600 officers from eight forces and yet not a trace of either Alice or Zalkans. Hmm. Absolutely extraordinary, isn't it? It's almost like she's disappeared off the face of the earth. But what you've got to remember is that last sighting of her at 4.26 a month ago was just the last sighting. There is all this area to cover here. You've got waterways, you've got undergrowth, you've got built up areas, you've got industrial areas. Plus, that extra hour before she was going to go home, where did she go then? And in a month, how far can she be from here? An awfully long way. So actually 600 officers is probably nowhere near enough. We need the public's help as well. Are you surprised that nothing has turned up? They found the rucksack and that is it. Yeah, I am. I mean, it is extraordinary, isn't it? There is, it, it really is as if she's disappeared off the face of the earth, um, you know, with, in terms of no mo mobile phone contact, um, absolutely nothing at all. And she doesn't sound like the sort of girl who wouldn't get in touch with her family. They're clearly very close. So she has disappeared and it, the longer it goes on, the more urgent it is that she's found.